talk about some Vikings on a short leash. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepagus show. I'm One Bar with Lepagus. Week one on the cusp. We're going to be talking about four Vikings that could be on a very short leash on the season. Yeah, it's actually happy NFL kickoff day. First game of the year is today. Uh, what a glorious and beautiful day. Cannot wait uh, for that and for, you know, obviously this Sunday to get rolling and the Vikings go 1-0 and, and defeat the Packers. Yeah, let's celebrate by uh, subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subbed and you're watching, be sure to hit that sub button. Also, shout out. Unreal, Minnesota-based company. Hoodies came out two days ago on Twitter. Everybody was all over it. Uh, they went out fast. I got one. It came today. It's amazing. It's, it's very comfortable. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm kind of a hoodie snob, and this thing, A+. plus. How does it feel against the nipples? Great. It just feels great. I, it, it fits good. I was concerned it would be too big. I'm very excited, but anyways, let's talk. Let's I think talk. this whole video is going to be about your sweatshirt. I'm just... It's hot as hell out right now, and I'm still going to wear it. All right, sounds good. Yeah, so some Vikings who are going to be on a short lease uh, starting early in the season here. I mean, you might not get pulled after this game or during the game, but uh, if they start to struggle, there will be guys, there are guys who are chomping at the bit to replace these guys. Yeah, and that's going to be a theme for, a, I would say, well, two of them. I'd say two of them. Let's start off with one. Let's let's start off with the one that I, I think probably has the longest leash out of the four. Let me know if I'm wrong, but Cam Danzler – uh coming in he, he's he's proven himself that he's pretty damn good but he's got booth and evans i would say that are going to be breathing down his throat but um i just think he's got the longest leash out of these guys well, you might even throw patrick peterson in there too the old vet if he starts to struggle why not give him a yank as well uh but yeah dancer if he's you know blown coverages or missing tackles i mean not that we expect him to do that there's two guys. I mean, not just one. A lot of these guys just have one guy. There's two guys ready to come up. Yes, they're both inexperienced rookies, but these are guys who have shown up, had some very, very good moments in the preseason and camp. So uh, Dancer needs to play well and play well from the start. Yeah, Dancer had a good year last year, uh, 73 rating on FF, 90 against the run, which is insane. So I don't, I don't anticipate him getting the hook anytime soon. He might just hold on to that thing all season too. Absolutely, absolutely. That'd be just fine as well. We just want good play from our corners. I don't care who's playing as long as they're playing well. Uh, let's go to another guy who definitely is on a short lease. As far as him being an actual starter, it's Cam Bynum, the safety. Earns the starting spot next to Harrison Smith. You got the first round pick, Lewis Seen, just ready, wet. He's sweating. He wants to get in so bad. Yeah, I mean, this is just kind of bad news for Cam Bynum because Bynum came out, looked great. He only played 211 snaps last year, but his PFF rating 78. And then they reward him by drafting Lewis Seen. So it's only a matter of time. Lewis Seen is a first-round pick. He's going to get out there. He's going to get out there as a rookie a lot. Yeah, it's like we mentioned, I think, in the live last night. I mean, these guys are going to be rotating, especially buying them and Seen. So it might not really matter who's the starter. It might just be a, a title. It matters. Uh, and we'll see. I mean, if Bynum struggles, maybe they'll just go Seen. He'll start getting the majority of the reps and Bynum only come in if he's injured or something, but yeah, he's got to play well to hold that starter job. Again, I do think they're going to rotate plenty and we'll be seeing lots of Lewis scene. Like you just said, I remember in gym class, we'd be at certain stations and then you would hear Mr. U and time was up. Rotate, rotate. Yeah. And then you go to the sit and sit and reach table. Oh, hated that thing. Sit and reach. <laughs> Never good at that exercise. Sit and reach was the worst, but that was probably my best sport. It's probably the one that we actually use the most. You're reaching for another Cheeto or something. Rotate. All right, next. Let's go to uh, let's go to the obvious one, and that is the center, Mr. Garrett Bradbury. Hopefully, and everyone is going to agree, he has the shortest leash. He has to. He has to. And, and like uh, Cam Dancer, there's really two guys who could replace Garrett Bradbury. Obviously, the the late preseason standout, Austin Schlotman, who was a late riser. He was a grower, not a shower. But he did earn a spot on this roster, played pretty damn well against the Niners. So Austin Schlotman's ready. Chris Reed's the other guy. You know, maybe he had some injury concerns in the preseason, so maybe he wasn't quite ready, and that's why Schlotman got more of a look. But there's two guys who can replace Garrett Bradbury. And, again, I don't know if motivation's enough. I just don't think he has what it takes to anchor and fend off. And we'll see what he does against Kenny Clark this week. Maybe for some reason he's going to do very bad. <laughs> He figures it out, but 
I, I'm beyond the point. I, I know Garrett Bradbury is a lost cause, so I th really think this is just a matter of time. Yeah, I mean, look look what this front office coaching staff did with the whole uh, damn near the whole 2021 draft class. They didn't like him. They got rid of him. I don't think it's going to be any different. I don't think they give two craps that Bradbury is a former first round pick. If he is not playing well, I think they get his ass out of there. Schlotman is their guy. They brought him in. So I think I, I, we're going to see Schlotman. Kenny Clark is going to blow Bradbury up. He's going to, oh, thank God for what you said up. Um, I mean, we saw it early when, when uh, Kevin O'Connell got here. He was like talking about how he could fix Garrett Bradbury. Oh, he just needs coaching. And then I think he got to see him in person. Then you start seeing Schlotman get some reps with the ones, Reed taking some reps with the one. It didn't take him long to figure out what he actually has in Garrett Bradbury. And what he has is not a very good center. It is not. And let's go to the final one. And this is going to tug on some heartstrings because he's already a beloved Viking. And that is rookie punter Ryan Wright. Yeah, and I think he's probably – I think he's got like a three-game window. I, I mean, I think really if he starts – if his holds are bad and it's costing the Vikings points on the board, I think that's probably the biggest thing that's going to give him a quicker hook. Uh, of course, if he has shanking punts left and right, the Vikings won't take long to uh, bring in somebody else. Jordan Berry's still out there, I believe. I didn't see that he signed with anybody else. I'm sure there's some other options out there in the free agent wire, free agent wire. Uh, that could replace Ryan Wright. But, you know, we did see the leg this kid has. He had some booming punts there. Uh, what was the second game he took over against the Niners? So hope for the best for this kid. Yeah, I, uh, you know, for this, it's it's the holding. Um, if for some reason Craig Joseph is just not doing well, they're going to look at that right away. And Jordan Berry is a free agent, which does not bode well for Ryan Wright because they know exactly what they have in him. For Ryan Wright, I expect some huge punts. I expect some gross punts. But I expect this him to be very entertaining. But rookie undrafted punter, a couple games in, if he is doing bad, he is gone. I bet you he was not very good at the V sit and reach either. I hope he's put on 20 pounds. I want to see him even fatter. I want to see some upper chest fat. I want him just to be this big, fat ass out there booting the ball. I mean, he's not he's that so big. Awesome. I want him to be bigger. I want him to be bigger. I think he, Ryan, I know you're watching. I think you're fine just the way you are. I want him bigger. So that's it. Those are four guys who, are, who should have a short leash when it comes to Minnesota Vikings. We'll see. Uh, give it a month or so how many of these guys actually do get the ax. I think I think there's definitely one. Yeah, one of the uh, – yeah, we'll see. And also be sure to stop by your local liquor store. Hit up Lift Bridge. Delicious, delicious brews. And uh, no affiliation, by the way, but Unreal Hoodies. So good. Snap one. All right. And also, also remember this. There's a town in Arizona called Nothing, and nobody lives there.